Hey guys and welcome to a skier task guide chemical part 2. For this task you're going to need to find any evidence on customs that could help with the investigation as well as find any information on customs that could help with the investigation and then hand both of those information and evidence over to skier. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. So with chemical part 1 you had to hand over the 220 dorm room key. Now, he does actually give it back to you at the start of this task. The way you get it is you just head down to your messenger, click on skier, and then click receive rewards. Once you've done that, then you're just going to need to plop the 220 key into your butt, whether it's your gamma, alpha, or whatever you got. And then we're going to need to go into raid. If for some reason you happen to have lost your 220 key, it does spawn in jackets as well as in the pockets and bags of scavs as well as in drawers. It can also spawn under the blue trousers in the train cart on customs where you went and got the item for your last task. So on the map you can see where we're going to need to go in customs. We're going to have to go up to the dorms building. So we are here at the dorms building. On the right there is two story and this is three story. We're actually going to need to go literally in that room just there. So going in through the main entrance, what we're going to do is walk up the flight of stairs so you are on the second floor and then turn left. Walk all the way down to the elbow and continue past. We're going to be looking for dorm room 220, which is this one with the grated door. So entering this room, you have a laptop directly in front of you and attached to that laptop is the flash drive. Then just to the left of the laptop, you have this metal shelving units and in between the files and the or second to top shelf, is the letter that you're going to need to pick up. If you happen to die after you picked up these two items, then you are going to have to come back and collect the items again due to them being task items, so they will disappear if you die. If you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with, head over to prana.tv slash discord. We do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a Sherpa system. So if you just need a bit more help than normal, then we are there to help you. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards. Don't forget to check out Piranha.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. And a big thank you to all of my Patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash Piranha TV. And a huge thank you to Jay Dam, Freddy and Beansy. Without this kind of support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do.